Welcome to episode number eight of the Common Questions video series. My name is Jonathan Cheka, and today the question that we're asking is, do I need to go to church? If you want to find out more, we'll be right back. The first answer that we're going to look at is what seems to be a very common cultural Christian answer nowadays, which is, no, I don't need to go to church. It's just Jesus and me. It's just you and me now. Yep. Oh, I was talking to the taco. Well, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of biblical support for this position, and it feels a little bit more like an outgrowth of the Romanticism movement in the 18th century, which really emphasized that you can connect with God personally, and that's all that you really need. I'm freed, I'm freed, that's all I need, that's all I need. But when we look at the model of the early church and everything that we have available to us in the Bible, there's really nothing that says that you don't need to be involved in a community of other believers. He made other people for you to know and to be in community with. So if that's God's design for us, we shouldn't reject it. We should accept that he has made us to actually be in a community of other people. The second view, which again seems to be a little bit of a cultural Christian answer, is, well, yeah, I do go to church, but occasionally, whenever I feel like it. Bob, I was wondering if you had any plans for next Sunday. Um, well, football season's over, so I guess I'll just be watching old football games. <laughs> But again, this doesn't seem to come out of a biblical worldview. It seems to come out of people's own personal preferences and conveniences. So the answer of going to church whenever you feel like it doesn't seem like a particularly biblical model. Now, finally, what we think the Bible actually teaches is that you do need to be involved in a consistent community of believers as often as you can. This is how the author of Hebrews talks about it, that we're supposed to gather together not only consistently, but more and more as time goes along. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing. So why is it that the Bible actually teaches that we do need to be consistently involved in a community of believers? Well, I might not be able to tell you everything about it, but I can tell you that being consistent in that community is going to bring a lot of benefits that just occasionally checking in wouldn't really bring along. When you are there on a consistent weekly basis, people can get to know you, you can get to know other people, and they can be there to strengthen the community that you feel before the times where you really need that community actually hit. I would say that you need it the whole time, but the examples of when a loved one passes or something dramatic happens in your life and you need good people in your corner, you can be building up that corner before you actually need it and be a lot more prepared for when those times are actually going to come about. And we talk about this a lot more in the podcast episode that you can find in the description below about what the benefits are of actually being involved in one consistent community. So if you want to check that out, I'd really recommend that you go down to the description, click that link and check out not only that podcast, but the other podcast episodes that we've provided for this season of Common Questions as well. So I hope these last couple of videos have been helpful for you. If you want to drop a comment below about anything that you'd like to see covered in a future episode, go ahead and do that that, like this video, send it to anyone that you think might benefit from it, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and you'll get a notification whenever we drop new content.